What's going on? Trying something different tonight. Uh, as far as cooking up some of the Spanish mackerel we caught yesterday, we're going to try some Spanish sushi. Uh, first time trying this, so uh, if it doesn't turn out, you'll find out. But uh, let me show you what I've gone ahead and done. All right, so what we have are the front end of some fillets. Well, I pretty much went down and there's a little, if you can feel on it, there's a little bone layer on the front of your Spanish fillets. And last night I went ahead and just cut the fillets off right there and we had the tails for dinner. Um, what we're doing now is I'm going along the bone line and I'm cutting out this bone and also trying to cut out all the red meat. And as you can see, there is a chunk of fillet right there. Um, I'm also skinning it out to go in uh, our sushi rolls tonight. So with that, I'm going to try to, I'll show you how to, how I've been filleting the next uh, couple of pieces. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just do a couple of these. So there's our spinach fillet and I'm just going to go right down the lateral line. And what I've been doing is going down, since I'm left-handed, go down the lateral line and then when I hit the skin, not make sure you don't cut through the skin, but when I hit the skin, just kind of, and I'm hitting a bone right there. Kind of just work the knife down the back of the skin and uh, does a pretty pretty good job and then like you said that red meat right there we don't want to get that um, of course I'm putting you on on video now I'm on the spot and uh, I'm not getting them I'm leaving more meat than I did on the other ones and we're just kind of working the knife down the back there and uh, that's pretty good. I, see, like the second time was a little bit better than the first. Anyways, you want to make sure you check this chunk of meat out real good. Make sure there's no bone. There's a little piece of fin right there. And uh, clean it up real good because we don't want any bones in our sushi. And then this one, as you can see right there, there's that lateral bone. Now, if I was going to fry these chunks, I'd, I'd cut them out the same way and I'd bread them up. Now, if the fish was a little bit bigger, you can kind of cut them into like steaks. I got a little bit of bone right here that I can feel. I'm just going to try to get out. And I'm trying to get them all out as best I can because it's gonna, those bones there are gonna be aggravating or difficult on our sushi rolls. Do one more, here's a little guy. I will say the smaller fillets, the skin is a little bit thinner. And I'm gonna do, continue doing it for the next one. All right, now back behind us, we got the rice going now. I'm not using your conventional sticky rice. What I've done is gone ahead, taken regular long white rice, soaked it for about four hours, and then put the, all the water that it was soaking in into the pot. We let it come to a boil, and then I put the lid on it to let it come to a simmer. Now, it almost got away from me, um, but it looks like it's done. Um, one of the things I did with soaking it is I'm trying to get the long grain rice to give it some sort of stickiness so it'll uh, stay in the roll and won't uh, fall out. The other thing that I was going to try to do is uh, do an actual shimmy uh, roll and if the rice will stick together. All right, how I'm going to make my rolls, I just got the organic sushi nori uh, made by Ocean Taylor. It's just from Walmart, so I'm not promoting the brand by any means, but uh, it's what we're going to do to hold our rolls together. All right, so I took a sheet out. I'm going to take the rice, let's put it here, I'm going to kind of, on there, it's uh, got some stickiness, it's not what you call, what your traditional sticky rice is, because it's got a particular style, but we're going to come in here and kind of just pat it down and work it together. Then we're going to get a piece of fish. One, two. We're going to kind of line these down a little bit better. I'll 
start this end up. Roll it down, and what I'm gonna do is get a little bit of water on my film out of the sink. Put it down this edge right here to help it stick. Voila. Now, the one thing about these rolls, they are perforated. So I went ahead and just sharpened this knife so I can cut. So I'm just cut one inch rolls. Flip it around because I am correct handed. I did sharpen this knife. Voila, there is our sushi roll. Spanish mackerel sushi roll. All right, now I just got a little bit of soy sauce. We'll put it in a little dish. Not much. Here we go. Very good. Fresh caught Spanish mackerel sushi. You probably could do it without the sushi roll, but uh, because I'm not using uh, sticky rice, um, this helps hold holds the rice together. A quick tip that I just thought about that I didn't show you know, right after I cleaned the fish. You know they were kind of bloody, and what I did was took a bowl and put some salt in the bowl, put some water in it, and used a brine to help rinse and get some of the blood and guts and all of that off of it. So uh, that may be just an idea instead of using regular water because regular water kind of breaks down the filet. But uh, with this, I think I'm going to finish eating my meal, enjoy it. Catch you next time, I've got more videos coming up. And uh, with that, have a good night. Matt here, Paul Offshore Fishing. We'll see you later.